All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? Right, hey, legends, Cast Chronicles. All right, we're back with another video, and today I thought we'd talk about the old urine test in prison. It's like everyone's worst nightmare. It is a nightmare for everyone involved getting a urine done, and um, it can be pretty demeaning, actually. Um, so so first off, let, let me just give you an, an induction on, on what's going to happen when you get a urine test. So you really, usually when you get a urine test, you don't know that you're about to get a urine test. So the urine police or the piss police, they call them, call them, they walk around the jail, they're just normal screws and they come and collect people to take to the urine cell to come and urine test you. And so basically what happens is um from the moment you get put in that holding cell to the moment you get let go you've got three hours three hours to produce a urine otherwise you will get a dirty urine for not producing so how does that make sense so if you can't produce a urine you are going to be classed as an identified drug user just because you can't get your urine out now you tell me how that makes any sense but anyway that's what everyone's going through. So you got three hours from the moment you get put in that cell. So when you get there, they're going to strip you and they're going to see if you've got anything on you. They're going to see if you've got anything connected to your old fella to see if you're not going to try and cheat this urine and they just suss you out and then they'll put you back in that room. Now, what they'll do is they give every person one cup of water when you first get in there and then you get one cup of water at hour one, one cup of water at hour two one cup of water at hour three and if you can't produce after that one guess what you have got a dirty urine so when they strip you it's the same as any other strip in jail they are going to strip you down naked you're going to have to put your arms up in the air you're going to have to run your hands through your hair you're going to have to turn around you're going to have to bend your cheek part your cheeks and smile for the governor they call it so they can see your rusty sheriff's badge and um yeah and then you're gonna have to lift up your um your your old fella and 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 your ball bag and you're gonna have to lift that up and so they can see that you haven't got anything secreted in there so it can be pretty demeaning um for people that haven't been through this before you've literally got people that i don't know how can you enjoy your job if you're literally looking up prisoners buttholes every single day like no thank you ain't my kettle of fish but anyway that's what's going to happen when you get a urine so why do they do a urine well they do a urine test to see what drugs you've got in your system so what basically happens is when you first get locked up now most people get a urine test when they first get locked up now i know not everyone does some people make it through the break so they will generally do if you if they think especially if they think you are using drugs whilst you are in prison you are going to get a urine test when you first get locked up and every single thing that you come back dirty for like what you have positive in your in your urine you aren't going to get in trouble for that because that was in your system when you first get locked up but what they're going to do is they want to check your levels out so what they'll do is they'll see what your levels of whatever drugs you are on in your system at that time and then they're going to try and urine you like two weeks later a month later to try and see if your levels are going down and if they aren't going down well guess what you've got a dirty urine and so <clears throat> it is the worst the worst thing that every prisoner who plays up or or like i've told you guys before every day i do in jail i did it i just had the big um fuck you attitude on and i was like okay if you're going to take me off my family I'm going to take drugs every day and I, I decided to 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 take a prescription drug which is called suboxone everyone in prison calls it bup and um so that's what i decided to take every single day but so i done nine years prison straight on my my last big one and over that prison sentence i reckon i must have had 150 urine tests done and every single one of those urine tests came back absolutely clean and with without a doubt i was i was smoking bup every single day so i would have had you know suboxone or bup in my system but yet every urine that i done done it came back negative now how how have i done that would you ask now now what i'm telling you isn't some secret that that only prisoners know or i'm not giving you some info that no one else knows so so 
all you've got to do is people try and try and do all this funny shit, but all you've got to do is drink water and drink lots of it. You've got to keep drinking water until you pee and pee and pee and pee until you can see that your pee is absolutely just straight water. And so that's called flushing. And so, you know, generally because I was smoking bup every single day, I would flush all day, every single day. So I would literally sometimes be going to to the toilet sometimes like 15 or 20 times a day once an hour sometimes and and that is how i made sure that that well that's what i believed and it absolutely works because i did it for nine years without getting one dirty urine now i'm not saying go and do this blah 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 but absolutely if you are going to prison there is going to be one stage where you are going to be getting urined and um, if that comes back dirty for you, it can really, really ruin your your prison life. So straight off the cuff, if you get a dirty urine, you lose your visits straight up for six weeks. No arguments, no no special special things for him and special things for him. Everybody loses their visits for six weeks. And then from there, they will start doing other things. So at Port Phillip, they have what's called the the, the levels. So everybody starts off on base. And then after six weeks, you can go to upper. And then when you're on upper, you can get different things like certain proteins and some things off the special buy canteen. And then when you get to enhanced, you're allowed to go to the gym at certain times. You can get every creatine, every everything off the canteen. But what happens is when you get a dirty urine, if you are on enhanced, they are going to smash you straight back down to your base level. And even I've heard it at Port Phillip now that they will take your shoes off you. So if you have normal runners, they will take them off you if you are on base level. So it's a dead set punishment. As you guys know, it's a fashion parade on your feet in in jail. And um, yeah, it can absolutely mess with you. And the worst thing is, you know, getting a dirty urine is going to start interfering with your family's time. And, and that's absolutely not what you want to do. You know, your family only get to see you once a week, once a month or whatever. You definitely don't want to stuff that up by playing around with the the politics in prison i will say because definitely you know it is a different 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 life when you want to run down that gauntlet in prison and trust me if you are going to prison you want to stay away from all politics all drugs everything like that or otherwise you're going to end up with dirty urines now you also get a fine when you get a a dirty urine and every single time you get a dirty urine that fine goes up and up and up now i heard of people that are paying off thousands of dollars worth of fine in prison there's also people that likewise will choose to smoke bup every day but don't give a shit about the dirty urines don't give a shit about getting their visits taken off them don't give a shit about losing their phone calls they don't care about none of that and um, yeah, well, there you go, guys. That is the urine system in prison. I hope I explained that enough. If there's any question, guys, all you have to do is jump in that comment section, ask me a question. I will do my utmost best to answer all questions like this one with a video. Um, obviously, I can't answer all questions with a video, but by all means, chuck a question in there and I'll do my best to answer it with a video. And also, guys, if you haven't jumped up there and shot me a subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome um, if you could jump up there and shoot me a subscribe. And if you smash that bell, you will never miss any of my clips again. All right, guys, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. I'm also we the end. guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.